Hello and welcome to another modeling video. I get asked a fair amount of times the best method in painting a surface white and decided to dedicate this video to that very question. Colours like white and yellow has a small pigment count and consistency and may show its undercolour quite easily. Now the problem with white is it also shows any mistake you have may have made in the modelling such as scratches, lumps or seam lines. So you need to be extra careful in priming and building your kit. Here on hand is the products I've either used in past or still currently use. And you can get all sorts of very nice stuff such as white primers which can make the model a uniformed colour and a lot easier to work with on say grey primer which you have to build up the colour. We're going to be working on grey primer in this video but white primer is a lot easier. It is easiest to paint white with an airbrush but if you must rattle cans are also fine. The biggest issue with hand painting is it's going to require a few coats and the brush strokes will come through. We're going to take the typical scenario of acrylic over a grey lacquer primer. In preparation, I'm going to be thinning down the paint a little more than normal because I'll be aiming for lots and lots of fine coats over a couple of fairly heavy coats to keep a nice smooth consistency. Another thing to look out for, and this is the same if you're doing with yellow or clear coats, you need to keep the airbrush to the absolute cleanest and not cut corners when you're using these colours. Contamination can be a fair issue. Our first goal is to colour in any hard to reach places and then on top of any masks. After that we'll pull back and slowly dust on until it nicely covers and looks even. After the first uh, two coats you'll notice that your white will be very dull and that normally leads to one to panic and then start caking more paint on which leads to dripping or um, flooding of detail. This is okay if it still looks dull, just allow it to dry and keep dusting more coats on over time. Six, seven coats is not unusual to get a really nice universal or uniformed white. General rule of thumb, keep your paints nicely watered down, PSI nice and low. The more coats, the more wider it's going to be depending on weathered or clean look. And I hope this video was of some help. Thank you for watching and until next time.